That's a lot of people. He ulted me, did not succeed with that. Nope. I, what, what the fuck was that? I'm dead. I'm dead. I stuck in the wall. Did you see that shit? That was so dumb. What is up beautiful people, it's Celadon here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're playing ranked as in Agni against what looks like a Olrun? No, Raijin, definitely Raijin and Susano in the jungle. Company here by Camazots, uh, rocking the nice skin on the Agni. Gonna dash through the speed buff as per usual, just delay that damage on the camp with the dot ability and clear with that same ability pretty soon. Yep, yeah, that's Raijin, pretty expected. He's gonna use his clear, we're gonna dash through, pretty general stuff, trying to juke his attacks, he should not be attacking me. That means we're level 2, and we're gonna pop him then, get a little more arrows in there. How you guys been doing? I'm having a wonderful day, just had a workout, got my doing job and everything. Having not been uploading very regularly for the past couple weeks, got a new job. Feeling pretty good, but it takes a lot of time to get acquainted and get like into the stuff. Uh, I work in IT, so yeah, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> oh, he's been aggressive, and I'm building a little stupid talk in here. Susano is a bit poked out. If he's gonna look for pull on me, it's not gonna end well for him. I'm gonna bait him. Yeah, pretty well too. Can we get the man? I got the man. We got the first blood, although Kama had to die for it. I, am I gonna die for it? Yep, that's unfortunate. Oh, look at the Kama. <laughs> like, he's actually did a very stupid play, and now he's upset. Unfortunate event, but still. Uh, we got a first blood, they got two kills. We're pretty much even, although I'm now behind the Raijin, which is kind of understandable. And quite significantly behind too. Poked out Susano a little bit. He's going for the mid camp here, nothing we can do about that, even though mid camp isn't up. I guess they didn't have a timer on it, so he went to check. Gonna try and uh, pressure me. Nope. Yeah, he tries. That's not gonna do anything. Are you guys excited for Cthulhu entering the ranked very soon? Like, in the broken state that he is? I think he's gonna break the whole- Ooh! Damn! Look at this man! He's got some balls! That was very, very ballsy play. Actually, caught me off guard really hard there. He had a word, and I forgot about that. He's gonna try and ult me. Yep. <laughs> That's so dumb. Why is he so aggressive, my man? Look at this dumbass shit. He just threw his ult away for no reason. I guess, man, he's kind of pissed off about something. I don't really care, but I'll take a free wasted ult any day. Ooh, did you see that? those runes on the one? Those are really weird. We finally got an ult, which means that we are no longer attached to our mana as hard as we were before. In case you don't know, uh, Agni's ult doesn't take any mana to cast, so that's pretty well. That's why Agony is always so easy to sustain. No eyes on anyone. Unfortunately, I have no words in mid. Just the defensive words. But we oh, look at those runes. Those look really cool. We went for the cooldown boots here. Uh, I know that probably purple boots are kind of better. You get some sustain if you're not planning to build heavily into lifesteal. But with Agony, I can actually probably do that. And... Uh, Cooldown and Agni is just oh so cool. Got a lot of poke on him, that's pretty good. He did be so I need to tell that to the ca uh, Kamazots. Looks like Athena's ulting right lane, they're chasing down Apollo unsuccessfully too, which is unfortunate. They gotta get some control over the blue, no. Susanna's there, Raijin's in left jungle, so we're gonna try and kill this man here. We got the time for it. 
That's a stun. He stepped into my three. I kind of missed my ball, but it's fine. He died to my dad. I think Apollo was hitting me, but I'm kind of full HP. That's weird. Raijin ult's coming up. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, yeah, I tried to stun him. Didn't work. Gonna grab those real quick. Ooh, Apollo, what you doing? Yeah, he just wastes his ult, I guess. Oh, we don't have our three. That's bad. Hello, Geb. Dash through his knockup. Yep. Be careful left. His Nami is way out of position. What you doing, my man? Get slapped. Raijin is missing the wave if he joins that fight, which means that we can surely go here. Ooh, they got a red. I'm gonna get their support for that. Apollo oh, Olron is actually available. Should be dead here. Yep. That's Raijin. Is he going in? He should not be here, man. Ooh, my boy. We should go for the Gold Fury, but we really... I really don't have mana or anything. That's a tough call. Let's do it. They're so up for it. Let's do it. I'm gonna keep full commit. Get a bit of ult. Trying to tank a couple of hits if they need to. Ooh, that's sweet. Somebody was providing more damage than I anticipated. That's pretty cool. We're gonna back for the full Chronos Pendant now. That was a really good call. I did not trust that call. I usually tend to not trust my team in ranked. Until they actually start making good plays. And well, the start of the game, Kamazot's making a call in the Gold Fury. You can understand why I didn't trust him. But that was a great call. We got the Gold Fury. Raijin's doing the mid camps, which is gonna ward it up for some awareness. Probably not a good ward. I knew he was taking that camp. Should not have warded there. It's a wasted ward. Come on, ward. Looks like Geb might be coming right jungle. But Kama and Sobek are there, so they should be fine. We're actually ahead of Raijin now, which is impressive, I would say, considering how we started off. Get poked out. Making sure that we're not gonna get poked out in return. We have 30% CDR, doing pretty well here. Going for the red buff here is a good call, I like that. I'm definitely gonna join. Susan is in solo lane, so... I wanna wait for Geb's rollout. Just stun him. That's a silence. Maybe he rolls out through my three? No, he didn't. I might die, I should be dead. Thanks to Athena mitigation, we didn't take enough damage for him to commit to the kill. Ooh, that's a lot of people. He ulted me, did not succeed with that. Nope. I, what, what the fuck was that? I'm dead. I'm dead, I stuck in the wall. Did you see that shit? That was so dumb. We're going pretty cookie cutter season seven build here. Uh, just uh, full CDR starting from spending with the more MP5 from Chiron's coin and penetration. Very few items that give actual penetration now. So you have to go Chiron's coin. Pretty much in every build or obsidian shard, but Kyron's coin better, so basically you always build Kyron's coin if you don't want to be hitting like a wet noodle. So yeah. That's what we're doing here. Oh, you won that? Get that. No, don't commit. Well, you missed anyway, so I didn't miss anything. He spoke out. I, I really do wish the Kamazots paid more attention to the mid instead of trying to gank solo laner, but at the same time, it's Apollo in the solo lane, so quite understandable. Actually, yeah, I take that back. He should be in the solo lane like 24 7. That's a fucking ADC. Going ADC solo is a really dumb thing to do in Masters ranked. Oh, what was that animation? That was weird. Gotta join. The fight they see me in a ward. There's a ward here. We got the res, so it's fine. He still sees me. We got some poke, not a lot. Raijin ult is wasted, I believe. 
Oh, what you doing? What you doing? Get out of here. Gab is gonna die as well. The rollout got stopped, so it's fine. Right, we missed the shot, but we still got the kill. Ooh, we got the red buff as well. That's insane. I think the tower is going down here. Because I have nothing else to do besides maybe my red buff, but, but I can do that after the tower, so that tower is free. There's a good chance that Kama can take that speed. Nah, it's not there. Unfortunate, but still, we got a good fight. We're gonna take a tower, a wave. If he's not gonna hurry here, he uh, this wave is gonna melt itself. Gonna grab the mid cam, gonna go for the red buff, gonna do a lot of farming here. Help the jungler with the chalices, they're stupid. Okay, okay, calm your titties. In case you don't know, the chalices are gonna get like buffed nerfed in some some cases. Like they're gonna be one hit basically. They're gonna crush all the chalices in one hit. Which in my opinion is a really good change, is how it should have been initially. As you can see, I'm not hurrying up to the red buff because it doesn't really matter. I already have the duration of the red buff from the enemy. So I can delay my red buff and make sure that we have ability to contest the red buff whenever we want. Because we don't need to be on ours. That's something that's pretty easy to do when you got uh, solid control over the enemy jungle. So that's exactly what I did. There's a little shard here. We're gonna break that. We got all the tier 1s, which means that we have pretty good presence in every lane. Gonna pop this wave, make sure that Raijin is missing farm while we fight. Ooh, hello guys. I'm dead. I'm definitely dead here. <laughs> but I got the Aegis. I'm gonna do as much damage as I can. Oh. Yeah, my damage killed Suzano. Which is better than nothing, I guess, considering the damn situation I put myself into. Allrun is trying to sneak up the gold here. I don't think he can solo it like this, but apparently he can. He's like an actual ADC, I keep forgetting that. With the crit and everything, he has pretty solid uh, objective damage. Gonna throw that here. Full commit, just do as much damage as we can. He stepped into my three, they're gonna take some damage. We're just gonna roll him around this pillar so he won't be able to land those autos and back away. Retreat. Ooh, look at that mess. He's just straight up trolling at this point. He blinked in and realized he's the only one here, so nobody wanted to commit to that shit. I'm gonna stun him. Not gonna commit my three into this. That's weird. We're in the dump spot here. They got a red buff. What? I guess my timing with the red buff backfired because they didn't need to secure theirs. Unfortunate. Pretty poked out here again, and probably back. Now, actually, let's burst that wave down. Okay, that's his whole kit. I really don't need Athena doing that, messing up my clear, wasting my time. No aggressive wards on the right jungle. That means a waste of sentry. We're building into Soul Gem here, and I do understand that with the Red Pine later on, I'm gonna overcap 10% on the CDR. But, like, I really want that cooldown early. Agni is kinda good with that. Kamazot spent his time in my lane for no fucking reason, defending a tower unsuccessfully, too. Meanwhile, they took the Gold Fury for free. That's his ult too. Yeah, okay. So this is what we're gonna have for the rest of the game. This asshole is just gonna do that. And he raised himself in the solo lane, so no real hurt to the enemy objective push. Kinda weird, but they missed the front line. That's his rollout being banned, we can maybe kill him. That's a very, very huge shield, holy shit. Both of my bombs did, did nothing. That's his beats. Can land a stun. People need to start catching Geb's rollout. 
looks like they're not gonna try that. We landed the three. Oh, Alron is looking at me funny. Want to be a part of that? Not gonna be enough damage, but Alron meanwhile is gonna be dead. Stun him up. We got the tower. We need to back off here hard. Zana's coming back. Actually, we should have committed to the Phoenix, but the rest of the team is is doing... I don't know what. She's just straight up missing. No presence whatsoever anywhere. So, yeah. We get the Tier 2 tower instead of getting the Phoenix. Ooh, that was not a bad mess, but I really want you. Can I just murder you straight up? Not with the Geb on the team, I guess. Damn it, damn it, damn it. We need to dash through his pole. Raijin's behind us. I did survive. We can lifesteal a little bit off of that and maybe join the fight, but very, very carefully. Okay, we got two kills and my whole team disengages. That's great. We can safely back at this point. I'm 2, 3, and 12. I have more assists than anyone on the field. i <laughs> just having trouble finishing the actual kills. But it doesn't matter as long as my team is winning. We're actually almost 10k ahead. So I'm pretty okay with the amount of assists I got. A lot of people don't pay attention to the fact that assists are usually as important as the kills. The fact that I'm not finishing people doesn't mean that I don't deal damage and I'm pretty sure that I'm top damaged by the end of this game with a big advantage to anyone else. Looks like my team is gathering for the fire giant and Apollo just wasted his split push ability. Oh hello Geb. Can I poke you out some more? He wasted his shield and he wasted his uh, ward. Zano's in left we should definitely go for that fire. Okay I, I started tanking him that was stupid. Follows here. That's a stun. That's his beads. Wait, that's a solo laner with beads. Okay. Trying to secure it to the best of our ability. Susano is kind of upset, I assume, or just trying to farm up. He's level 14, which is pretty low. I guess if he's pushing our tier 2, if he's pushing our tier 1 so intensively, is that even a word? Uh, we're gonna get the Phoenix for free. Like, I'm totally fine with that. What's up with Geb? Did he DC or straight up just trolling? I guess I'm gonna report that if he's not DC. Oh, all around. Oh, all around. What's Raijin doing? He's looking for me this whole game. Is he really upset with something? Like, he allowed me to wail on the all around and he died for that. What you doing? Step into my shit. He did step, but he still has his Aegis. Let's stun him up. Raijin is on my ass again. Why though? Can we get him? Ooh, that's an Aegis. Bastard. We lost two people. Uh, we can... Nah, we cannot push with Athena and Solbeck. I have no objective damage whatsoever, and we don't even have minions. I think you can attempt gold here, but both Apollo and Oleron can do that better, so we have better chances of securing the gold. Making sure my passive is stacked up when I use my two. With the maximum damage. Same for the bombs. Two bombs for secure. Yeah, they're not even trying to contest. The one is in right lane. So we get a free gold fury. We are 13k ahead. We definitely need to group up and go for the left lane. Looks like Kama took the Apollo ult, which is great. Means we just can gather up and push whichever Phoenix we prefer, and I would really prefer my team to push the left one. Group up. Group up. The oh, Susan is out of position. He should not be here against a level 20 Zanami. 
Gonna try and cut him high. Oh, I did not stun him. That's bad. I'm gonna try and pop both phoenixes at the same time. They don't understand that I actually do a lot of damage to the phoenix because of the fire. That's great. Meanwhile, on the left lane, our ADC is pushing into the phoenixes, which is also pretty good. But looks like Olran is able to def defend against two people for no reason whatsoever, really, but he does. Okay, Apollo committing, his bees are down. Oh, the wave on the right lane entered the Titan and took half of the Titan. That was really good. We can just disengage, get the fire. Izanami left me the red buff, which is nice. I really do have a lot of power and I have to back for the sentry ward here. Looks like Apollo straight up left the solo lane. Uh, I wish we could get his ult again. That would ease a lot of things. On my way. Need to help this fire wave pushing, so they would be a threat to the Phoenix. <laughs> Why? What is this? Somebody ignored a totem for a really long while. We have fire waves coming in mid. We have fire waves coming with us still. And we're gonna push into this Phoenix. Warding up. Should be a word here. Yep. Ooh, all around on Forge. Just disappeared. I think he had like Actus, but didn't have a chance to use them. This should be game. Huge wave coming in mid. Dashing through the pool. Oh, he dashed with me. I'm dead. Trying to waste as much time as I can. Life still keeps me alive. Yep. He should be upset over that. <laughs> he made a really good play and he still did not succeed in killing me. And that's game. So what we got? We got 3, 3, and 18. 8 goddamn teen. So in terms of builds, we're good doing a pretty cookie cutter build. Uh, Chrono spend the tier 2 start into cooldown boots. To cut in coin because you kind of need that penetration. And since their team is not healing as much, usually it's Divine Rune. If it's not, it's Kyron's coin. That's about what you get here. We had some trouble with the hybrid build Apollo and some trouble with opening up Geb. It was pretty prominent in the game so i opted for double penetration with obsidian shard on top and then the last item would definitely be routed to hoodie sell a gem or 40 percent cdr and i do understand that it's gonna overcap with the red pipe but just having that cdr early on agony is really fucking good you get so much uh, cc with the stun from your one in ult or like two in stun from your one um it's very long reach it's very easy to apply it's just it's just very good and if you get a lot of CDR and Agni, he's very goddamn annoying and pretty hard to lock down because his 3 is also immune to knockups and pulls and we had Susano, Geb, uh, Raijin with his ult and well Olran with his 3 so yeah. Last item definitely routed to Hoodie then I probably would sell boots for more power. I'm thinking Soul Reaver but that would actually overcap me on penetration so maybe like a bancroft for additional sustain they don't really build as much into anti-heal so that might have been a good pickup in terms of kill participation <laughs> i did got just three kills i also died just three times but i have 18 assists which is more than anyone on the team including the athena with a global ult so yeah my kill participation is 21 out of 29 which is about as good as it gets our Kamazas that did an amazing job is one of the main reasons we won this game has just 23. Dina has 24 and the rest of the team, well, they weren't really present as much. Comparatively to the enemy, 
Raijun. He kind of has a lot more percentage kill participation, but overall, he got outplayed. He was two levels on me after getting two kills in the early game when we got first blood, and he still managed to lose my lane a couple minutes after that. In terms of builds, he's building okay, although that's not how you build Raijun, but overall, pretty cookie cutter build for a mage. Penetration item, maybe should have gone for Crown and Spend, it would have been better. In terms of damage, I am obviously top on the field, like I said I would be, and <laughs> despite me uh, not killing as much, I was dealing a lot of damage. Um, next in line, surprisingly, is in the Zanami, considering she barely was present anywhere. Uh, I thought it was gonna, gonna be Kamazos. I thought the Kamazos might actually be over me in damage, but that didn't really work out. Comparatively to the enemy uh, mid laner, I'm 5k on top which is quarter of my damage, which is pretty fucking significant. I have insane structure damage. Second on the field after his Anami, who's probably one of the hardest pushing characters in the game after probably ulting Oleron. Comparatively, our jungler is, well, not very significantly ahead of Susano, but I felt that he ha had way more impact. Our support is also ahead. Our ADC is ahead of the enemy ADC, but on par actually with the enemy solo laner. So, nah, that's not really good, to be honest. But yeah, he did outplay the enemy all around. But that mainly to the point that Yeb yeah, wasn't doing a really good job. And Sobek, comparatively out damaged by the solo laner, by the enemy Apollo, which is understandable. It's Apollo with a hybrid build though, so he wasn't hitting us hard. He wasn't killing us fast. He was more split push focused with a lot of sustainability so he was somewhat of a front line but you don't really like if you want to be an asshole in adc and solo lane just full on commit to it man and just if you want to be a split push commit even more get a fucking silver branch get all the attack speed in the world and the power and just wail on those towers and fly away as soon as you see people you go like half and half you achieve something like this which is basically nothing in terms of wars our ADC surprisingly worded like a lot. Solo laner, barely any words. Uh, our jungler basically didn't word. He didn't even exhaust the free word. Had good word coverage. I had decent. Uh, on the enemy team, ADC is wording. Uh, solo laner, also not. Support wording somewhat, but on the same amount as the enemy jungler in mid, which is kind of bad. You should have at least 14 15 at this time, uh, point in the game, which is 25 minutes, so kind of bad. And that'll be the Agni game. Surprisingly enough, not a lot of Agni games on my channel. I play a lot of Agni, one of my most favorite mages actually, probably like top 5 mages that I play. He was always the focal point of balance, he was always there, he was always prevalent, he was always good. Even, I think like last season at some point he was even actually top tier, but that, that was really stupid, that wasn't a thing. But he's still very good, he always was good, he was never bad and he's just so much fun to play. Like, really good god. Pick him up if you want just like not be in the favor of the month top tier not top tier being afraid of buffs and nerfs and stuff like that pick up Agni if you want to play in mid he's just good he always been always was and he never gets touched so if you get good Agni you always gonna be ready to play that mid in my memory I don't think I ever in my lifetime so a ban on Agni in rank, so that's a 100% god that you're gonna play if you like it. And that'll be it, that'll be the game guys, and if you're new to the channel, please subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell, else the YouTube algorithm think that you enjoy my content and show it to other people, which is much appreciated. If you like my video, thumbs up on that video, and it has the same idea. If you wanna ask me a game related question, I respond to every single comment on my channel, just leave a comment there, and be sure that I will respond pretty quickly. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.